Air propagation for powers. Go, go, Power Rangers! Okay, so if we have a measured quantity raised to some known power, we still have to propagate airs through it. And the way we do this is uh, still using the same convention where Q is just the value of running the standard raised number to the power and del Q is the uncertainty of that value. The way we do this is we say that Q is just your measurement, whatever your measurement is. Now we're gonna use just the symbol X. This is just some measurement. Technically it's X like plus or minus del X, but whatever, okay? X is some measurement. If you have some measurement and you know what power it's raised to, like that N right there, that is an exact number. That's not a measurement in and of itself. That's like a number you know exactly. Like it's a square or it's a cube, like point zero to infinity, okay? Um, for example, like if you had the equation uh, delta x equals vt plus one half a t squared. This square right here, that's an exact number. Okay, so unless that equation has an exact number to it, you can't power it. But if it has an exact number here, then we can use these powers. So if it's an exact number, that's how we get Q. It's just your measurement raised to the N, whatever that is, boom, you're done. To get the deviation on Q, well, what we have to do is because taking something to a power is kind of similar to multiplying it, what we need to do is we need to multiply by that value n, that exact value and the absolute value of it, because we just want it that many times, times the fractional uncertainty in the measurement. Okay, so this is our measurement, some x, um, and then del x is the uncertainty in that. Now, if you just came from the multiplication and division section, this should give you a little bit of a puzzle here, because if del x over x is a fractional amount and n is just a multiplication of some fractional amount, some amount that has no unit to it, how can q have a unit or del q have a unit? It needs a unit to match up with q. These are measurements we're talking about. And what we saw with addition or with uh, multiplication and division was that when we are looking at these fractional uncertainties here, that's going to leave us with a fractional uncertainty on the whole. So this is actually how we have del Q here. Um, we need to make sure that we run this right side of our equation first. We'll run this and then we'll go ahead and multiply that by the absolute value of Q over there. Remembering that Q is just the measurement multiplied by some exact integer quantity. And if we do that, uh, that'll give us Q plus or minus del Q and we'll be set there with those values. So if we do this, we're going to get Q plus or minus some del Q, and we could just walk away from that, okay? So powers are actually pretty quick and easy, nothing crazy there. Um, if you don't have an exact number up top, like you don't have that T squared, if you've got, you know, like, oh, we took a measurement of temperature and the Boltzmann constant, and this is what we think we have. Sorry, you can't use the powers. You have to do something else there. Um, I'm not going to get into that technicality there because that whew, takes us on a bit of a tangent, but just for right now, uh, you shouldn't really need that. But this is how we can do a power with an exact number. So with that, uh, this is finished. Uh, if you haven't seen the multiplication division one, go back and watch that, links in the description. Go back and watch the addition subtraction because I bet you missed that too. Um, the next one we'll be looking at is how to deal with a function. And we're actually gonna take a uh, kind of cheater's approach to how to deal with a function. Um, but it'll work out well for 95% of the things you ever hit on in your life. Okay, so with that, this problem is finished.